Good evening. So today we are going to make a very simple onion dip. So there's a few ingredients here. Um, this is the tub we'll be putting it in. There's this prefab green onion dip mix um, that you know, has its own instructions, which we'll get to in a second. Um, so there's there's kind of a family recipe at work here. So Here's, here's the, the instructions on the green onion dip mix. Mix one package dip mix with one 8-ounce container sour cream. Chill at least 30 minutes. Stir before serving. So, you know, that's fine. The recipe that my mom used to make was one packet of this, the green onion dip mix. And then they also have one which is toasted onion dip mix. And Safeway did not have that. So instead, I bought this shaker of McCormick minced onion, which I think is going to do okay as a substitute. We'll find out. Of course, there is also one other ingredient, which is uh, the bag right here. Sour cream. So let's pop that open. So, actually, there's another ingredient that I now, which is mayo. So, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be a bit of an experiment, because the recipe that my mom used to make was a pound of this. This is eight ounces. This is half a pound. My mom used to use one pound of this, one packet of the green onion dip mix, one packet of the toasted onion dip mix, and I think two tablespoons of Miracle Whip, because that was what we had when I was a kid. Um, I do not have Miracle Whip. I have mayo. So this is, this is going to be an experiment on a couple of fronts. We're substituting this minced onion for the toasted onion dip mix, and I think there are different ingredients that, besides the onion. They, they mix other stuff in with it. And also mayo instead of Miracle Whip. And trust me, they are very different. So, let's give it a shot here. So first off, let's open up our container. And then there's our sour cream. We're going to use this whole tub of sour cream. And partly because I've only got the green onion dip mix, well, I am substituting this. Um, so this is half an ounce in weight. So I'm going to need half an ounce of this, so I should probably get my scale out. There we go. So, okay, so let's start with the sour cream. Scrape off some of this off the foil. They came in. And you might ask, why not use the tub that it came in? Well, I need a bigger tub because I'm going to be adding material to it. I'm going to be adding. I'm going to, because I'm working with eight ounces, half a pound of sour cream instead of a full pound, I'm going to use one tablespoon of mayo instead of two. Exactly food service level hygiene here, but it's fine. I washed my hands earlier. Okay. 
Oh, now. Quite that even. Okay, I think that's more or less a tablespoon. Mix that up and just fold. One nice thing is the mayo is a different color than the sour cream. It's much less bright white than the sour cream is. So it is somewhat possible to tell whether it's mixed properly or not. So that, that's what that looks like. I can see that. Right. I'm not going to mix that in super well just yet because I also got to add the, my faux toasted onions. There's a really strong onion smell coming off of this, by the way. never use these. Toasted onion into before pouring it into the dip. The dip! Not that kind of dip. Also, long standing tradition don't forget to sample the dip mix. Mmm, yummy. Zero. No. Take the foil off. Right. I actually already did that earlier. Yeah. It didn't land on any surface that contacts food, so we did. Alright, so. The, this is measuring in grams, and there's my packet that I just threw away. We're going for 14 grams, okay. That is going to take a long while if I do it that way. This is a half teaspoon. Let's do a half teaspoon at a time. Yeah, that's a lot quicker. Two grams. Three point seven eight. Yeah. Stiff breeze is enough to change the reading there. 
could probably do this by the tablespoon if I could get my tablespoon in there. But it is not nearly big enough for a tablespoon to fit in there. You're up to 9.15. 10.57. We're getting to the point where a couple of more scoops and we have to put the shaker top back on. Just shy of 12. So we're at 13.55. So we're at 13.59 and then 13.56. This thing really does take a breeze. I probably don't need to do this to the hundreds of a gram. Oh, what can I say? That's how I am. 13.99. 13.01. I didn't even have to do anything. Alright. Don't pull that in there. And there is one tenth of a gram worth of onion dust, apparently. That's kind of dusty. Alright, now that it's all in the container, now I can start to really mix it up. And we're going to see whether 14 grams of minced minced onion, oh, the minced pepper, that's not right. 14 grams of minced onion is the same as 14 grams of uh, the, the toasted, toasted onion dip mix that I used to buy, or that mom used to buy. I just gotta get the the mix that settles down at the bottom, and one nice thing about a clear container like this is you can see, hopefully you can see like where there's pockets of mix along the sides that you get to scrape off and mix in there properly. Uh, like there's one there. Alright, so I'll just scrape that off. Fold that in and same thing with along the bottom, making sure there's no pockets down there. We used to do this in a ceramic bowl and you can't see through that, so very often end up with some pocket of unmixed mix. But then it'd be Mixed in again. All right, this is looking pretty well mixed at this point. So this, is, like I said, this is not true to the recipe because we used mayo instead of miracle whip. We used the stuff instead of the toasted onion mix. But even so, it already tastes pretty good. So all right, let's get this out. Moment of truth. Okay, yeah, that does taste pretty good. Probably tastes better on a chip rather than my finger. But that tastes pretty good. You get a little bit of a crunch too from the little onion bits, which you get that with the, the toasted onion mix too, it, because it has those onion bits in there, which is why I thought of that as the uh, replacement. So yeah, this seems to be a suitable substitute, and now I have about a cup of dip ready to go for next time I want to eat potato chips with it. So have a good evening, and feel free to make this yourself and do your own experiments.